Hey everyone, in this video we're going to cover how to create an XYZ plot or a, a colored contour plot in Ease. So to start, what we have here is an Ease program that creates a temperature solution as a function of two variables. Um, this is similar to some of the 2D conduction problems we'll be doing in class. So we've got this set up and it solves, it solves the program so we can run it. And it'll actually uh, create results. So the first step in this process is to go to the Arrays window. You can either do that by going to Windows Arrays or just hit Control Y. In this window, you see the results of the, the solution. And you can see there's a bunch of columns where we've got uh, temperature for each uh, combination of indices. By default, this table is not sorted necessarily uh, in order. And so you want to first make sure you click the Sort button and it'll make sure everything is, is sorted alphabetically in the columns. Next step is to look through this table and make a note of where the temperature data is that you want to plot. So here we start our temperature data in column three. We'll scroll over to the right and we'll see that the temperature data ends in column 23. Right? It's important to remember those, those numbers. Um, we also wanna make sure that the data is plotted all the way through all the rows. Okay, so we see the data goes from row one all the way up to, to row 41. Okay, the last thing we want to remember is the range of temperatures that we're trying to plot. In this case, we're going from a temperature of 823 um, in the coldest up to a temperature of, let's see, something, well, it's going to be something in the range of, let's say, 1,000. Okay, so column 3 to 23, all rows, and then make a note of the min and max temperatures. Next step is to go to your plots menu new plot window, and then XYZ plot. This dialog pops up with some information that you're gonna to need to configure. So this is important to get these steps right and you wanna do the steps in this order, otherwise the plot might not show up the way you want. The first thing is to note down here the plot type. So you can either have three column data or 2D table data. Three column data would be um, three columns of data as the name implies where you have let's say two variables x and y and then temperature. So you'd have three columns where for every x and y combination, you have a temperature. That's not what we have in this case. We have a 2D table data where you have columns uh, associated with temperatures and rows uh, or columns associated with uh, dimension one and rows associated with dimension two. So first we click 2D table data and the whole dialog changes. The next step is we know we're gonna to wanna to transpose the rows and columns just because of the way the indices are set up in this problem, and it's often the case that you wanna do that. So if you do wanna transpose the rows and the columns in the plot, you need to click that first. All right, next we're gonna come in here and we're gonna enter the information for the columns and rows. Now note the labels switch, so this is kind of confusing, um, but we always wanna be specifying the columns in this x-axis. So we said our columns went from three to 23, so we're gonna change this three to 23. And then uh, the rows in the table, right? We've transposed it here, but the rows in the table go from one to 41, All right? I do wanna note if you um, don't click this first, specify the, the columns here and then click transpose, it, it would probably give you an error. So it's a little bit confusing. Just make sure you follow the same process every time. So transpose, enter your column data here in this X axis. Next step is to come over here, and we're gonna choose what kind of plot we want. You can do isometric lines, you can do color bands, a gradient plot, which shows the direction that um, the surface is moving at any location. Uh, we're gonna choose color bands here. All right, the next step is then to specify the temperature range. Right, we know this isn't quite right. We said something about the temperature going from uh, what was it, let's say 820 degrees Kelvin to the maximum, which in this problem is a little over a thousand. So we'll leave this alone. The interval is the temperature interval at which the color will change. So if you wanted just, you know, five colors in your plot, you would make the interval so that the min to max is uh, five intervals. Um, here, let's just choose something a little bit finer. Let's choose 10 degrees. Okay, so that should do it. The last thing you can do if you want is you can play around with this interpolation. I, I like to use the radial basis function option. I think it, it looks a little bit better, um, but this should do it. So just to recap, right, 2D table data, 
transpose, enter columns, make sure your rows match up here, specify the min max interval for the color bands option. Okay, now we click OK and it's going to generate the plot. And here we have our contour plot showing temperature, I'll get this out of the way, temperature between 820 roughly and 1000 roughly as a function of position. Now in some problems you might have it where the indices that you set up actually uh, correspond to a reverse order um, on this, this axis. So if let's say the heat in the physical problem was actually coming in from the bottom, you can come into this, right click this axis here, and then this dialog will show up where you can modify the axis as normal. We'll select the top to bottom and this will reverse the axes. You can do the same thing for this left to right or right to left for this axis. And then you can get this to match up, your, your indices to match up with the actual physical problem. Of course, I know you can, you can scale the plot as well if you think that the aspect should, should be a little different. All right, and that's how you create an XYZ plot in ease.